In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fade in and out of your text in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the very first thing you need to do is open up a new project and then you're going to click on the text tool in the bottom navigation. Then just go and select somewhere on your video and type in the text that you want to fade. Then over in the effect controls, we can use this drop down arrow next to text and then we can use the tools here to customize our text. So I'm just going to increase the font size. You can also change the color as well, as well as the font style. Then I'm going to click on position and just reposition position this to the center of the screen. Now what you need to do is click on window in the top navigation and make sure you have effects checked like this. Then come down to effects in the bottom navigation and you're just going to search for linear wipe and hit enter. Then you need to drag this video effect called linear wipe onto your text layer and then we're going to drag it a second time onto the text layer like this. Then come back over to effect controls and you should now see linear wipe twice in this list. Now from here move your playhead right to the start of this text layer. Inside of the the first linear wipe we're going to increase the feather over to 750 and we're going to change the wipe angle to minus 90 degrees then click on the stopwatch icon next to transition completion to add a new keyframe then increase the transition completion all the way over to hundred percent now just simply move the playhead on your timeline a few seconds forwards and then you can reduce the transition completion all the way down to zero percent and that should go and automatically add a second keyframe now with this second keyframe selected scroll down to the second linear wipe, make sure the feather is set to 750, set the wipe angle to 90 degrees, and then add a new keyframe next to transition completion. Then we're going to move the playhead again a few seconds forwards. Now, if the text layer is not big enough, you can always just resize it and make it bigger. And we're now going to increase the transition completion all the way over to 100%. And now if we play this back, we should have a fade in and a fade out effect. So it's as simple as that, guys. If you did find this video helpful, then let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.